Hello, I'm Mrs. Martinez, and today I'm going to walk you through a lesson on multiplying and dividing integers. Please start with titling your notes, Chapter 2, Lesson 2-6 and 2-7, Multiplying and Dividing Integers. Our objective today will be multiplying and dividing integers with the same and different signs. We'll have two key vocabulary words that we focus on. The first is same signs. The product and the quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. The next vocabulary word we'll focus on is different signs. The product of the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. And remember that the product is the answer to a multiplication problem, and the quotient is simply the answer. Let's consider the steps to solve these types of problems. We'll use multiplication and divisions to solve. We'll first start by just multiplying and dividing the numbers, and then we'll choose a positive or a negative sign. And keep in mind that the same signs are positive and different signs are negative. So if you have two numbers that are both positive or both negative, then your answer will be positive. And if you have two numbers that one is positive and one is negative, then your answer will be negative. Let's look at our first example. Please make note that this is multiplying. So we'll find negative 6 times negative 8. And remember that when a number is connected to another number using parentheses, that simply means for us to multiply. We'll begin with simple multiplication facts. 6 times 8 we know is 48. And the second step is just to check your sign. The integers have the same signs, so the product is positive. So our answer is in fact positive 48. Let's look at a second example. Please make note that this is for multiplying integers with different signs. So we're, when we're presented with the problem 5 times negative 4, simply multiply 5 times 4, simple math facts, and we know that's 20. And now let's check our sign in the end. And the integers have different signs in the problem. One is positive, one is negative. So the product is, in fact, going to be negative. So 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Our next example, please note, is dividing integers with the same sign. So we sh um, we'll find negative 12 divided by negative 2. And again, we start with simple division. 12 divided by 2, we know is 6. And last, we'll check our sign. And the integers in the problem have the same sign. They're both negative. So the quotient is positive. Same sign, positive. And one more example, please make note that this is dividing integers with different signs. And the problem in front of us says, find 51 divided by negative 3. So simply start with division. 51 divided by 3 is 17. And now let's decide on what the sign should be. The integers have different signs, positive 51, negative 3. So the quotient is negative. So positive 51 divided by negative 3 is in fact negative 17. Let's have you check your progress. Can you find negative 3 times 9? The integers do in fact have different signs. Did you come up with negative 27? You're correct. Let's try another. Can you find 36 divided by negative 9? Again, just start with dividing, and then check your sign in the end. And the answer is, in fact, negative 4. That concludes my lesson on multiplying and dividing integers. I'd like to end you today with a short clip um, of a real life um, situation where it illustrates how multiplying integers does in fact work.
Multiply integers. The mere submersible that explored the Titanic shipwreck was able to descend to 20,000 feet below the surface of the water. Suppose it dove from the surface of the water at a rate of 90 feet per minute. What is the depth of the submersible after 7 minutes? If the submersible descends 90 feet each minute, then after 7 minutes, the vessel will be at 7 times negative 90. How do you know which sign to use in the answer? You can show the repeated addition on a number line. When two integers have different signs, the product is negative. So the submersible is at a depth of negative 630 feet. This means it will descend to 630 feet below the surface.